So then we've got all of the basics of this site covered. So let's try deploying it to Vercel. Now, don't worry, we will be doing more with the site, like adding static incremental generation, fallback pages and conditional redirects later on. But for now, I just want to try deploying the app. So the first step is to create a GitHub repo for the project. So go to GitHub, make a new repo. I'm going to call this Jam, which just stands for Just Add Mahamite. And then you can give this a description if you want. You can make it public or private. doesn't really matter. I'm not going to initialize a readme, but I'm just going to create this repository. Now down here, we need to grab a couple of these. So the first two commands. So let's copy those and I'm going to paste them into our project right here. So now I need to add all of the changes into the staging area. So I'm going to say git add and then dot add all of the changed files. So that's everything over here. And then I need to commit these. So git commit M and we'll just say initial for initial commit. And then I'm going to push the main branch, which is the one way on right here to the repo. So git push origin main and we set the origin at the top. This is what we're doing. We're adding the origin GitHub path right here. So let me press enter to push this up to GitHub. It's just going to take a second. Once it's done, I'm going to come over here and refresh, see if the project's up and voila, it's there. And by the way, if you don't know anything about Git or GitHub and this went over your head, then I've got a full tutorial all about Git and GitHub on this channel. So I'll leave the link to that down below if you want to learn more. So we're going to be hosting our website on Vercel, which is ready made for Next.js applications. And it's completely free to begin with as well. So head to Vercel.com and sign up for a free account first of all. Now, if it's your first time creating a new project, when you click on new project or maybe before, it's going to ask you to link up your GitHub account to Vercel so it can import all of the code it needs and build our project for us. So click on this. If it does ask you to authenticate using GitHub and provide access to GitHub, do that. And then it's going to give us a list of different repositories that we can import. Now, the one we created was this one right here, Jam. So I'm going to import this and then I'm going to select this thing right here, personal account. So once that's done, we can give this project a name. I'm going to leave it as Jam. We can leave build and output settings as they are, but we do need to go into environment variables because remember, we have a couple of environment variables that are not pushed up to GitHub. So it's not going to know what those are. So when it comes to run this code over here, if we open up the index file, when it comes to run this code, it's not going to know what these environment variables are. So we need to add those to the cell. So let's grab the name of the first one and go back over here and add it in. And then we need the value for that. So let's grab this and paste it in and then just press add. Then we need to add in the second one. So let's do that. I'm going to go back over here and grab this key, paste it in. And we need the value for that, which is this. And I'm going to paste that in as well and add this. So that's all we need to do here. Then we can deploy this. So this is now going to build our application from that GitHub repo and it's going to host it for us. And when it's done, it's going to give us a link that we can visit in the browser. All right. So when it's done, we're going to see this page and we can visit in the browser this website. So click on this and we can see everything seems to be working. If we click on this, it works. If we go to a different one, yep, looks like it's all working. Awesome. Now, if we ever want to make a change to our project, we do it locally first in our text editor. Then we push it up to GitHub and we merge it with our main branch. And when Vercel detects this merge, this change in the main branch, it will rebuild and redeploy our website automatically for us. So. Now we have our website hosted. I want to talk about something to improve this site, incremental static regeneration. And we're going to talk about that in the next video.